Hi everyone, my name is uh, Josh Epstein, uh, kicking things off here today uh, for Caminario. Uh, if you've not heard of us, we're at www.caminario.com and our Twitter handle is uh, Caminario Flash, so uh, please uh, do tune in. Um, just to, I'll, I'll kick things off here, but I want to briefly introduce the team and then they'll give more uh, detailed introductions when they kick off their sections. Um, I run global marketing for Caminario, joined today by my colleague uh, Shakar uh, Feinblit, our Chief Technology Officer. I've got one of our valued uh, customers, uh, Frederick Van Haren from Nuance Communications, and then uh, Shai Meskit, uh, our technology evangelist, uh, director of technical marketing, uh, will we'll be here for a demo um, at, at the end of the uh, session. So just to walk you briefly through things, I'll just give a, a quick uh, introduction or reintroduction uh, to Cominario for those uh, that uh, have not been following us the past year or so since we were here last year. Um, we uh, then uh, actually uh, do a case study of moving to All Flash that uh, Frederick will talk through a very detailed uh, testing and implementation that they did at, at Nuance. And then Shakar will pick it up and talk about the, how we see the, the future of, of the industry evolving, how Common Era is evolving along with that, and, and what our outlook is uh, uh, for, for the, the next uh, both near and long term. And then we'll wrap up with some uh, preview of some new technology we'll be releasing here in the second half of the year. Uh, we're terming it data center aware storage, and I'll, I'll save uh, the detail description of that as we move in through the, uh, the presentation. So with that, just a, just a brief overview. Um, and again, for the purpose of the video, my name is Josh Epstein. I run uh, Global Marketing. We'll talk about uh, Common Arrow all-flash storage for this, this on-demand world. Um, in particular, how can a company like Common Arrow compete in this, this hyper-competitive market where you have, uh, you, know, you, have, you have big guys, you have small guys, you've got other technologies that are, that are crowding in. Uh, what are we doing differently? Um, just to start out, so Common Arrow, if you're not familiar with us, um, you know, we've grown quite a bit over the last uh, 12 months. At this point, we, our team is made up of uh, storage veterans uh, from really any brand name storage or enterprise B2B tech company out there. Uh, we are now headquartered in Boston. We moved our, our headquarters from uh, where we founded in Israel over to uh, the Boston area uh, this last year. We have offices in London, Paris, and R&D still based in, in Israel. Um, the product, we are still a, a one product company, K2 All Flash Array, uh, highly scalable uh, All Flash Array platform. Um, but it's all packaged in one single product platform. This is actually our fifth generation product, so for those that are familiar with the history of Common Era, we've been around for several years. Uh, the version 5 was actually uh, released uh, in the back half of 2014. And that's been the real growth engine uh, for the company over the last two years. That's really the focus of everything we'll be talking about today. Um, support has expanded alongside with the business in both US and EMEA. Um, customer base uh, expands uh, every vertical. Uh, across the global 2000 with really, a, particularly the last year, seeing a very strong emergence of a, a business in a SaaS and online services uh, companies. We'll talk about why, why that is, why that's such a good fit for us. Um, heavy investment in, in an in a indirect uh, sales model, 150 channel partners uh, worldwide. Um, we're venture capital backed, uh, 150 million uh, raised uh, to date. Uh, Sequoia is our, our, one of our, our first VCs, still is very active in, 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 the, um, in the board and in the investor base. Um, our mission, to enable customers to scale their businesses easily and cost effectively. And we'll talk about why that is and how our technology differentiation really helps uh, align to that, to that mission. So what's new with Common Aerial? First off, the, the backdrop of the slide here is actually our new office we opened in, in uh, Needham, just outside of Boston. A um, lot has happened uh, in the last 12 months since we were here at, at uh, Tech Field Day last year. Uh, we've tripled the size of the go-to-market team in the last 12 months. Uh, we've added new go-to-market leadership, new VP of North America sales, EMEA sales, a marketing a channel. Uh, heavily invested in, in building out the channel program, so 3x the number of active uh, channel partners. Um, and this investment is returning. So 2015 was a banner year for us. Uh, Q1, we <coughs> over doubled the growth from uh, Q1 2015 to Q1 2016. And we've doubled the number of customers in the last uh, uh, 12 months as well as really starting to see this ramp up of, of repeat business, particularly, again, in the, in the SaaS and online services space where we have several petabyte scale customers at this point uh, that, that are really helping to drive, drive the growth. Um, so this is interesting. 2015, the first full year of the V5 in, in market, seen a really strong uh, surge of, of uh, business from SaaS and online services, online retail, online gaming, and the like. Really uh, large, highly scalable, database-driven applications, and that, that's interesting, and that aligns to uh, our, our technology direction and where we're investing. Um, we did launch a new branding and a new website, uh, open global headquarters in Boston, as well as uh, offices in London and Paris, and at this point have sales representation virtually around the world. So what's new with the product? Um, 
Version 5.5 was launched in August uh, 2015, so after last uh, Tech Field Day. We're the first in the market to really promote this uh, uh, price points of under a dollar per gig. Uh, continue to, to really focus on cost-effective uh, storage strategies. Um, we expanded our guaranteed effective capacity program. If you're not familiar with this, I'll talk a little bit, a little bit more detail about this program, but it's been a very successful uh, program for us. Uh, so much so that we're actually extending our guarantee programs to cover other uh, uh, um, critical areas like performance, availability, maintenance, pricing, and again, I'll talk a little bit more about that in a moment. Uh, we launched native replication uh, with version 5.5. Um, launched a, a perpetual array uh, functionality. This is the ability to actually mix and match uh, different uh, types of flash uh, compute and networking in the same implementation. We'll touch more on that in a moment. Um, we'll actually uh, debut uh, some uh, advanced uh, QoS capabilities and cloud-based uh, data center aware, advanced analytics um, to uh, augment our, our existing um, uh, support software on the box and, and we'll do a demo uh, in a subsequent session. And really the point here is that, you know, this is a highly competitive market. Uh, we've considerably ramped up our, our go-to-market uh, presence and our such, we're, we're actually expanding, you know, radically expanding the number of uh, customer situations we're in. We retain a very high win rate, about 70% win rate in competitive POCs. So this, this is a great product. This is, this is, this is winning today. And Frederick will touch more on that uh, in, in his presentation. So just in summary, what, what are we doing different from other AFA vendors? It's obviously a lot of great products out there, a lot of great companies, and many much, much larger than the Common Era. So what are we doing differently? Um, you know, won't go into marketing, this isn't the crowd here, but we did launch a new website with this new branding of storage for what's next. And this uh, storage for what's next is, is really, we win when we get our customers to think not just about this deal that they're looking at right now, this particular application, but how is their business gonna evolve over the next six, 12, 36 months and are they making a, a decision that will actually evolve with, with that, uh, that business? And what this comes down to is, is predictability and agility. Predictability from the sense of an IT operations manager needs to have a storage solution that has predictable cost, predictable performance, predictable scale over time. And that's delivered by agility. So agile management of growth, obviously as a business scales, you're adding more users, more devices, uh, more applications, the storage infrastructure has to evolve with that. Um, agile support of new applications, so as your workloads change and, and become more dynamic, you know, will your, your storage uh, uh, solution actually uh, evolve with that, that change? And then really interestingly, I mean, there's so much happening in the industry, and Chakar will we'll talk about that in the, in the future of the, of the uh, technology. So much happening in the industry, are you equipped to actually take advantage of, of uh, denser drives, of faster <coughs> computes, of more efficient networking? And that, that's a key element of the, the common arrow strategy. So just talking through some of the, the, the key um, uh, technical differentiators from a business level, um, where we set sets us apart. First is in scalability, sort of simplifying scalability. If you're not familiar with the K2 architecture, you know, it starts uh, with these uh, modular, we call them K blocks. It's a dual uh, active active controller with a single drive shelf. Uh, you can scale up, so you can add capacity to that, that existing controller set, add uh, two and then three uh, uh, shelves of drives. And you can scale out. You can actually add multiple K blocks side by side to create a scaled out architecture with a global uh, data reduction. And then obviously you can do both. So this really gives you the ability to tune in the, the capacity and performance you need for the specific implementation and really control your, your growth path from, both from a performance perspective as well as a capacity perspective. Uh, agile storage architecture, this means uh, both, you know, obviously it's a software defined uh, framework that, that makes use of, uh, of, of uh, of, of commodity, hardware, compute, uh, SSD, and, and networking. Um, but more importantly, it's this ability to actually mix and match and evolve the implementation over time. So this perpetual array um, uh, capability is the ability to integrate new flash media, new compute, new networking to an existing uh, implementation. And so as you grow, as you scale out over time, you're always able to take advantage of the most recent, most cost-effective uh, hardware on the market, and then non-disruptively retire older components when that makes sense for the business. Uh, predictably high performance. Uh, this is both obviously from a scale-out architecture, you're able to manage growth and deliver consistent performance, but more importantly, uh, the ability to actually manage multiple mixed workloads. So whether that be for a general purpose uh, storage uh, uh, solution where you're running both VDI and a database-driven application, or really most interesting when we look at our SaaS uh, businesses that we're working with, means a lot of SaaS database-driven applications are, are mixed workload by nature. You're running both OLTP, OLTP 
uh, workloads as well as analytics workloads on the same data set. So the ability for the storage platform to actually dynamically um, uh, respond to that and deliver consistently high performance no matter what the performance workload is. And some of the QoS features we'll, we'll um, talk about in a minute uh, actually augment that. Um, so obviously the entire uh, uh, flash, all flash array space depends on efficient uh, uh, capacity efficiency. Uh, so Common Arrow combining a proprietary uh, RAID scheme, so high, high RAID utilization, as well as what we use best in class uh, data reduction capabilities, uh, gives us a very, across the board, uh, best in class capacity efficiency. So right now, you know, this is interesting, this is actually the 5.1 to 1 is our average data reduction here over the last quarter. It's actually come down from last year, but that's really because we've seen the mix of business shift away from, you know, early we, was, we did a lot of VDI, I think the industry in general did a lot of uh, VDI uh, type applications as we shift into more large scale databases, you know, the, the average comes down. So we're about 5.1 to 1. Um, so one of our most uh, powerful uh, programs we have out there is this guaranteed effective capacity program. Uh, so we actually started out last year with a, a 3 to 1 guarantee. And the way the guarantee works is that we'll guarantee this and if uh, we're not able to meet that reduction uh, ratio. We actually give hardware to make, make that up. <laughs> uh, it's been in market for about a year and we actually raised that guarantee to 3.3 to 1 because we're actually seeing even more um, predictability in, in that framework. So um, this has been very effective. We find that uh, our customers really value the, um, the, the insurance policy about what they're getting. It gives them both visibility you know, today, right directly after the POC, but then also you know, throughout the, the, um, uh, the, the coming months and years that they're always able to actually maintain um, effective cost efficiency. So we're looking to actually expand this program in, in the coming months, uh, adding uh, guaranteed performance, guaranteed availability, and guaranteed uh, maintenance pricing just to, to augment this idea of predictability for this unpredictable world uh, that, that uh, IT managers live in. So just to close out this section and, and, and set up for the, the others, if you wrap up how does Camarero differentiate, it's really about delivering industry-leading scalability, flexibility, and cost efficiency. And that applies both to why we're winning today and why we're very competitive today uh, with, with uh, other, other vendors out there, as well as over the long term, how we see the industry evolving, how we see common area evolving, the ability to actually extend this lead by taking advantage of, of the new technologies that are, that are on the horizon. So with that, I'll, I'll pause for questions for this first segment. What's your breakup between the uh, SaaS online business customers and the Global 2000 Enterprise? Would it's, uh, it's in 2015, it was about 50-50. So about 50% of the business came from large SaaS or online services, you know, lo loosely, loosely grouped, and then the rest, you know, cross, cross industry, cross uh, general enterprise. Can you share with us the actual number of customers and how many systems per customer uh, on average? It's, uh, so we don't share the actual number of customers. There's hundreds of customers at this point. Um, the systems of customers depends on how you define that. Most uh, customers have multiple arrays, whether it's a primary in a, in a, in a remote location, or in some cases, a large campus where they'll have multiple systems, but uh, you know, it's a scale-out system, so it's, it's typically, you know, the majority of them have more than one array implementation. So m more than one key block or, or more than one? Well, certainly more than one K block. Uh, yeah, I think that the, the average number of, of K blocks, I don't know that offhand, but it's... Uh, it's, 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 it's yeah, it's, it's it, around between two to three, this yeah. is what we see. Oh, okay. um, we, uh, and because of uh, replication and disaster recovery, you, we normally see uh, at least uh, two. Two implementations. Yeah. Two arrays. But two normally arrays. they want to, to scale out and they don't want to buy too many uh, separate systems. Yeah, okay. Any other questions now? It's primarily still block, not file, right? Correct, yes, its primary focus is, is block storage, yes. 